You know, I was represented uh, by the FBI as being armed and dangerous. The FBI has put black militant Angela Davis on its list of the 10 most wanted fugitives. With Angela Davis, the power of the black intellect. One of the things that we really have to talk about coming to Christmas is the whole question of crime. What does it mean to be a criminal in this society? That had to be broken up. And in my case, uh, Ronald Reagan was the governor of California. Richard Nixon was the president of the U.S. The whole apparatus of the state was set up against me. And they really meant to send me to the death chamber in order to make a point. The actions of the FBI in apprehending Angela Davis, a rather remarkable uh, story again. In the, long the system tried to put the sister on trial, and the sister said, no, we're putting you on trial. comes in the big afro, she didn't go press her hair. She was facing major time. You know, most people, they'd have got a nice little press. You know what I mean? They'd have been there with little white gloves on praying to Jesus. She came in like this. And she devastated the prosecution and walked out of there free. But the question is, how did you get things to me is watching a girl go catch the bus in the middle of the day in her shit, you know, like, yes! Because when I was growing up, you know, you been on, you don't even look at your front door and the sun's out. <laughs> you know, like, okay, oh, I'm in my stuff, let me run to the backyard <laughs> and run back in the house. <laughs> if you were out and you were in your stuff, uh, you could get arrested, you know. They came up with laws like you had to wear three articles of men's clothing if you were a transgender uh, woman uh, to arrest us and put us in jail. You were criminalized for just breathing, you know. What's wound up happening is it's gotten better, but it's not where it should be, you know. We don't get the respect that we deserve for the decisions and stuff that we've made. We are in this every day. Now, whether we display it outside ourselves or not, that doesn't change how you think or feel about yourself. You know, and we need to be given the respect and the understanding to acknowledge that. You don't have to belong to an agency and you don't have to feel that, you know, that you're a part of this and you're in this group. You can be an individual person and do the things that you feel you can do to challenge the status quo, period. You know, uh, for me, not just all the stuff that I do politically, but on a personal level, what I did was changed all of my identification back to male because it dawned on me, wait a minute, I did this because I didn't want pressure from people. I didn't want to be in the bathroom and they go, we're showing your ID and it says male on it. So I, I did like everybody else did, had female on everything. And then it dawned on me, wait a minute, I don't even, I don't feel female. I want people to know I'm a transgender person and love me for that. Fuck this other stuff. So I changed everything back to male. So that was my way to strike back. You have to find your way to strike back. And it's a personal thing. You know, this group stuff is nice, and yeah, we have to get together and work on abolishing what's going on. But the personal stuff is what gives you the strength to go forward. <laughs>